Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing a chatty get ready with me and I'm using some of the new makeup that I recently hauled about. I'm using the new Milani Soft and Sultry palette, this Ulfra Pillow Talk Highlight, um, the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Concealer. I have a lot of things to talk about today and I have some new makeup that well, you guys haven't really seen me use it yet, but I have been using this stuff quite a bit. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into this. So first I'm just gonna moisturize with my Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer from First Day Beauty. I'm gonna use the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer, and I have just fallen back in love with this stuff again. Like, I swear, it's like, I just wanna use it every single day just because it makes my skin feel so hydrated. I guess because I hadn't used my First Day Beauty skincare in a little bit, and my skin had gotten a little dried out, it's like it needs extra moisture right now. It's got like a hair on my face. There we go. But it has been like such nice like days out like where it's getting to feel like fall weather in the morning like where it's been in the 60s and one day or it might have been two days this past week it was like 57 in the morning but like by you know afternoon it was in the 80s well today i think the low was like 70 something and the high is going to be like 90. And I'm just like, no, it was starting to feel like fall time and now it's just getting right back to summer again, which I know like when I'm filming this, probably by the time I post this, it's going to be September, but it's the very end of August. Like today is the 26th of August and I mean, it's still summertime. It's not the first day of fall yet. <laughs> um... Okay, and then for my foundation, I picked up a new uh, Revlon color stay because I used that in my other one. I think I might mix this with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, especially since it's going to be hot today. I want something moisturizing, which my Pro Glow is moisturizing, but this, you know, I don't know. I just, it might, sometimes the Revlon color stay, I do like it, but when my skin is feeling dry, sometimes it, I just feel like it looks too dried out on me. So... But last night, uh, Wanna Makeup, April from Wanna Makeup, and I, we went shopping together. Like, we both live in Kentucky. We live about 30, 45 minutes away from each other, so it's not always, like, the easiest for us to get together. Plus, April has kids, and it just makes it a little difficult, you know, for us to get together sometimes, get our schedules together. But we have been planning on doing a shopping trip like a while back. So I have been looking forward to this for like a month. So we finally went last night and we had such an awesome time. Like I laughed so much. My face was hurting so bad. And um, I had the Revlon Colors Day foundation on last night and my skin was like feeling just like so dry and I was like joking with her. I was like, I feel like my makeup is just like cracking off of me because I had been laughing so much and I felt like my skin was just like really dry. So I should have mixed it with my Pro Glow yesterday, but I don't know. It was like my skin was just really dry yesterday. But yeah, we had such a fun time and just talk so much and I bought way too much makeup. <laughs> um, I'm actually not using the makeup that I bought with her today because I had bought this makeup before we had hung out and I needed to film a haul video and get ready with me with it first um, before I film, you know, the stuff with this, you know, the video on the stuff that I bought with her. But I was teasing her and I was like, I need to just like label this haul like April made me buy it <laughs> um so yeah we went to so many different places we went to well first we went out to dinner at this place it's called Havana Rumbas and it's a Cuban restaurant and oh my gosh like their food is so good there it's supposed to be like authentic Cuban food and I love getting like the plantain chips with they have like this guacamole dip it is so good so yeah we were there for a while just like talking and just getting caught up on each other's life because i mean we talk on social media and everything but it's not like it is when you're in person with somebody and can just really talk because sometimes i'm really bad about 
messaging and just saying a lot in my messages. It's just like too much. Um, next I'm going to go in with my concealer and I'm going to use the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer from Too Faced. And I've been, I don't know. It's like some days I really like this concealer and other days I feel like it dries me out. Like just looks too dry on my under eye area and just accentuates my fine lines. Like yesterday was one of those days where I felt like it did that to me. But then I feel like I've had other days where at the end of the day I'm like, wow, this concealer looks amazing. It looks just like I did when I applied it in the morning and it doesn't look dry at all. So... I don't know. I'm on the fence with this. I think this concealer would be better suited for somebody with younger skin that's oily. Or I feel like it would be a better concealer for like a face concealing or face highlighting or contouring type of concealer. I don't know if it's best for the under eyes. Maybe today I won't set it with an under eye setting powder and see if it's, you know, looks better that way. Because maybe it's one of those concealers you don't need to set or it just makes it look too dry but the color that I do or the color that I picked up in this is in snow which I feel like is a pretty good match for me it's a little bit more yellow toned than what I typ typically like for my concealers to be but it doesn't look bad and it is brightening so if you're my skin tone, I'd say get snow. But I almost got the shade underneath of that one, but I thought it might be too light, so I don't know. Maybe that one would work too. I don't know if maybe that one might be a little bit more pink toned, but I didn't get these in stores. I just ordered that off of um, Ulta.com, so I wasn't quite for sure my shade. I watched some other people's videos on it, and like a lot of people were saying like the light shades really weren't that light, so... I just decided to get like one of the lightest shades. But yeah, we just talked forever at the restaurant and I was like, so then we finally left and then we went to Ulta and we were in Ulta for like a hot minute cause like we were just looking at everything, swatching everything and I had so many lip products that we had to narrow it down. I don't know what it was, but it's just like lately I've really been into lip products and I feel like when fall time rolls around, I'm just more into, you know, darker lips or just like lipstick in general and, you know, wearing more eyeshadow and stuff like that. So I feel like I've bought so many eyeshadow palettes recently and lipsticks, but, um, and then, you know, she recommended some things to me. And isn't this coffee mug, like, the cutest? We went to TJ Maxx after Ulta. I got this from TJ Maxx for $2.99. Like, this is such a steal. So, and you know me, I love anything pumpkin. So, got that. And she got one. It was so cute. It said pumpkin spice like it had like a little dog on it then i'm trying to figure out what i want to do if i want to do my eye makeup next or do like my face makeup i think i might go ahead and do the eyes and then finish out the rest of the face which honestly i probably should have done my eyes first i swear i always forget to do my eye makeup first I need to make a mental note or have like a little sticky note up here by my camera that's like, do your eyeshadow first. I think I'm just gonna use the soft and sultry today just because I feel like I do a lot of warm eye looks and this is more cool like neutral colors. And I think I just wanna use this today. So let me go ahead. I'm gonna put down my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. First, I'm just gonna go in with this shade here, which is called Soft Touch, and just blend that in the crease. And I need to get my eyebrows waxed or threaded really badly, but I'm going in two days on Tuesday to do my microblading perfecting appointment. And whenever I go to do that, she'll wax or thread my eyebrows or whatever. So I've been trying not to tweeze them or anything. Um, just so she can thread them because, you know, it lasts longer than tweezing. But I just feel like my eyebrow hair is like down here. I'm getting so many strays now. So just ignore those. 
And after I get this, my microblading perfecting appointment done, then I'm gonna film my, finish filming my experience video. And then for the eyelid, I'm gonna go in with the shade below that, which is called Come Hither. I was gonna ask you guys on Instagram if you have any questions for me with my microblading experience to, you know, leave them. You can actually leave your questions that you have for me down below on this video, but like I said, I'm also gonna put something on Instagram to ask you guys to, you know, if you have any questions to ask me to leave it, you know, there. Because in my vlog, my experience video, I wanna kinda do like a Q&A and answer any questions that you have about my experience. So if you have any questions about my microblading experience, leave it here on this video. Um, cause I'm going to come back to this video and look to see what you guys put. Now like with the shimmery colors in this palette, you really need to make sure you tap off your brush really well because if you don't, you're definitely going to have fallout. So make sure that you tap your brush off really good. I'm going to go in with the shade right here called Untamed. <laughs> Hopefully I don't have a lot of fallout with this. This is why I was saying I probably should have done my foundation after. My eyeshadow today but oh well and I'm just gonna tap that out here but yeah I mean some of I mean the shadows in this palette they do have some fallout and do have kick up but I like them I think that they blend well together and I really like the tones of these And this is just like a good everyday eyeshadow palette, I feel like. I'm gonna get more of that bronzy color and just kind of blend in between the two shades. And then I'm just going back with that first brush that we used in the crease. And I'm just gonna go over the edges of the eyeshadow to blend it out. I'm just gonna get just a little bit of Untamed on the tip of this brush. Just a barely tap some on there because that color is pretty pigmented. Plus, I don't wanna have a lot of fallout. And I'm just gonna blend that out a little more. I'll just feel so much better when I get my eyebrows waxed because whew, they are just a hot mess right now. I'm going with a different blending brush altogether, a clean one. I'm gonna grab some more soft touch on this brush and I'm just gonna blend in the crease some more. Just make sure it's blended out. And then I'm gonna try to clean up underneath my eyes because I feel like it's looking a hot, hot mess. And I'm just using my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer now. I'm just gonna use this little sponge from Real Techniques, the little mini Miracle Complexion sponge. Yeah, that looks so much better. Yeah, this definitely would have been better to do after or before. I'm going in with some more of Untamed in my Morphe M213 brush and I'm just gonna smudge this on the lower lash line. I feel like this eye is getting watery for some reason. I'm using some more soft touch 
and the Sigma Pencil E30 brush. And I'm just going to blend that out a little bit, make it look a little bit more smoky. For my highlight, I actually don't really want to use this one because it's like really kind of golden. It's like a, I don't know, like a white gold. And I just want something that's going to be just like a white bright highlight. So I'm just going to go in with my Milani Brow Kit and use the highlight shade in this. And I'm not going to use it as a brow highlight today because I don't want to highlight my hairs. Um, but I am going to fill, whoops, <laughs> I am going to fill my eyebrows in a little bit. And I'm just going to use my Benefit Cabral and my brow brush if I can find it. Here we go. I'm just going to comb through my eyebrows. And I don't really need to fill my brows in much with them being microbladed. I mean, honestly, you could totally skip this, but I just want them to have a little bit more definition. And I think, too, since I need to get them um, waxed or threaded, it's like I feel like my shape, it just makes my shape look better. But if it wasn't for that, they would probably just be fine without doing this. I just basically kind of go underneath just to define the shape. And then I just kind of go on top to define that shape a little bit. And then I just kind of take whatever's left and just kind of run it through my brows a little bit. For my liner, I'm just going in with my Physician's Formula Eye Booster Pen. I feel dehydrated today. Like, I feel like my skin needs moisture. I probably shouldn't have even used the Revlon Color Stay today and just used my L'Oreal True Match Lumi. Um, but I'm just going to go in with this Jofra Beauty Dynamics Makeup Setting Spray. I like this one when I want my face to feel really, like, hydrated. It just feels so nice and hydrating. Which, whenever April and I were at TJ Maxx last night, I almost got this rose water stuff. And she was like, everybody raves about this. And I almost got it. And I kind of wish I would have gotten it now. But she got it, and she said that the sprayer, like the pump, didn't work real good. So, I don't know. Maybe it was kind of a fail. Maybe it's a better, a good thing that I didn't get it. I don't know. For my mascara, I'm just going to go in with some of my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And put that on my upper and lower lashes. And then I'm going to come back and do like my bronzer and blush and lipstick and all that good stuff. I'm going to contour it with this NYX uh, blush in taupe. And you guys recommended this to me. I think I talked about this in another video. I think it may have been my August favorites. But you guys recommended this to me for an affordable contouring product. Product and I have been loving this as a contour. Like it's not too cool toned and it's not too warm toned. It is just the perfect shade, and I love to apply this with my Morphe M504 brush, and I just lightly, you just need the littlest amount of it, and I just take it like this. If you're not sure where you need to contour, if you just suck in your cheeks like this, you just want to follow like that line, because that's like where the hollows of your cheeks are, and then I just go like this to blend it. And do that to the other side. And I just lightly put it down at first. Because you don't want like a strip or anything. You just want it to look like a shadow. But I've been loving this little brush for contouring. I've tried to like contour my nose a little bit. But I'm not good at this. And I don't know if it looks like you just have like a strip of contour. But I've been trying to do this a little bit. 
For my bronzer, I'm gonna use my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer because I don't have a new bronzer that I've picked up recently. Which I totally forgot when I was doing my liquid liner. I meant to use this e.l.f. liquid liner that I picked up um, from my Ulta online Ulta order. And I have been enjoying that liner. It's just that I feel like lately I've been wearing that brown liquid liner than black. Like I've been wearing brown liners more than black liners. So... I just haven't used that one that much, which I don't know if they make a brown liquid liner in that or not. I'm going to have to look because I do like that brown one. Or I mean that black one. <laughs> so I also just kind of blend out that contour with the bronzer. And then I'm just gonna go in with my Real Techniques powder brush. I was using the Morphe R2 brush to bronze my cheeks up. Then I'm gonna take this around my hairline. But yeah, um, April and I, we also went to, after we went to TJ Maxx, I mean, I totally got sidetracked with doing my eyeshadow. I just, whenever I do my eyeshadow, I'm like in my zone and I don't really say much. Um, but yeah, we went to TJ Maxx, we went to Target, we went to Walgreens, and we went to Walmart. So we went to so many different places, and yeah, we just had such a great time. I'm just bronzing up my neck, which we are planning at some point to do like a collab video where we're in each other's videos, like where she comes over to my place and we film a video and I go to her place and film a video. So I'm not sure exactly when we're gonna do that, but we did talk about that last night. Like we want to do that at some point for you guys. I just think it would be so much fun to film with her. We just laugh so much. So I think, you know, it would be fun and, everything and if you're not following April I will link her channel down below so you can go and check her out okay and then for my blush I don't have a new blush that I've picked up recently so I'm trying to figure out what blush I think I might actually do a pink blush with this just to kind of warm this look up or just to bring some color since my eyeshadow is so cool toned I'm gonna get another drink I haven't used this blush in a hot minute. My Fox in a Box Hard Candy Baked Blush in Girl Next Door. This would be so pretty. I'm going to use this today. And I'm just going to use my Wet n Wild Blush Brush. Oops. And I also, it's like at the end of the video, but I also, whoa, that's like so intense. I put too much of it down. <gasps> blend that out a little bit but here in the next month or so Josh and I we're going to be going to IMAT in Toronto so I'm really looking forward to that and I'm also going I'm also going with Lori um Lori Joliker which she stopped doing her YouTube videos but she does post on like Instagram and stuff still like she's been doing keto and she does a keto diet she has like a keto instagram which i'll link that down below if you guys aren't following her there but we're gonna go to imats together in toronto and i'm looking forward to that um i know one of you guys asked me if i was gonna do a meetup while i was there and maybe i haven't decided yet i know that imats is gonna be so full on and just being around such huge crowds kind of intimidate me so i'm already feeling intimidated going to this um but yeah, I also wanted to ask you guys if you would like to see like a vlog video of me going up there and everything. So if that's something that you would like to see, let me know down in the comments. And then for my highlights, I'm going to use this Ofra highlight, which I talked about this in my in my August Beauty Favorites because yeah, it was one of my favorites, but I love this. I don't think I've used it in a video. Like I feel like I have, but... I don't know what video I would have used it in. So, but I'm gonna use this today for my highlight. And I feel like I need to get some different highlighting brushes cause it's like, I like this, but sometimes I feel like it's too big 
And I like this brush, but I feel like it's almost too like wide. Like the bristles, I just feel like they're spread out too far. I don't know. Maybe I should try to use this, but I feel like this is too precise. I don't know. So you guys all have to recommend some good highlighting brushes down below for me. Um, but you need just a little less amount of this. Like I barely tap my brush in there and um, also tapped it off. But this highlight is so intense. It's such an intense, like wet looking highlight. And this is in Pillow Talk. I think I forgot to say the name of it. Ofra Pillow Talk. But it is such a beautiful highlight. It's so pretty. And then for my lips today, I've been debating on what lip color to use because I got some really pretty like plum colors. But I feel like with this, since my eyes already feel kind of dark, I know they're not like super dark and smoky, but I want to do something brighter. Um, and I haven't used this in a video yet, but this is the Dior Lip Glow Addict. And I did get this sent to me for free through Octoly. But I have been enjoying this so much. Let me just put it on. It's one of those lip balms that kind of have just like a slight tint to it. where it kind of makes your lips look like a kind of like a lip stain sort of look but it's really moisturizing on the lips and it just looks so pretty like on days when I'm just doing a really basic look or I don't really want to worry about my lips too much I'll reach for this just because I know it's going to be moisturizing I know it's going to look good and it just brightens up your complexion I know that this is not cheap and this is just you know a tinted lip balm basically but there's just something about it that is so pretty and feels so nice on your lips. So if you would like to treat yourself, <laughs> if you like to treat yourself, I think this would be like a good thing to pick up. Or if you really love lip balms and want to spend a little bit of extra money or, you know, want to put it on a wish list as a gift. I don't know. I just really like this. And I think that lip color looks so good with that blush and everything. So... I hope that you guys did enjoy this chatty get ready with me using some of the new pick some of the new makeup that I've picked up recently. If you guys did enjoy this, please give this video a thumbs up and I hope that you guys have a great day. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.